Hi, I'm Chris Johnston from Work Visa Lawyers and welcome to our Australian immigration videos. We are one of Australia's largest immigration law firms with a team of professional immigration lawyers and registered migration agents who can help. If you would like us to help you, please hit subscribe and the bell to get notified of our new videos. Today's video will be about the agricultural visa and its latest news. The agricultural visa was first announced in June 2021. To many, the agricultural visa seems to be a perfect visa to attract Southeast Asian farm workers to fix the labour shortages that Australia was suffering. The Australian agricultural visa is designed for primary industry sectors, including horticulture, meat processing, dairy, wool, grains, fishery, and forestry. According to Agricultural Minister David Littleproud, the agricultural visa came into effect on the 1st of October. However, it has been four months now and no overseas workers have arrived under the new scheme because no countries have signed up for it. We are waiting for bilateral agreements with a few Southeast Asian countries that our Foreign Affairs Minister is negotiating. A lot of questions have been raised. Why is it taking so long? Is there a stumbling block that makes it way longer to reach this agreement? The agricultural visa has hit a roadblock, which the government has blamed on the lobbying against the visa done by the Australian Workers' Union. The Australia's Workers' Union has met with ambassadors and visitors and contacted many embassies from Southeast Asia, encouraging them not to sign up for the agricultural visa. The union fears the stories of workers that have been abused in Australia and believes that if the agricultural visa goes ahead, it could lead to the exploitation of foreign workers. There is an argument between the Minister of Agriculture and the AWU. Mr Littleproud has said that the union, you don't go and do that, and actively sabotage a program and actively remove our goodwill around our reputation as a good citizen globally. The counterpart of this is that the union argues they are doing a good job in lobbying for protection for workers and warning other countries about possible abuses. Moreover, it's close to the federal election, which will have specific impact on whether the agricultural visa is actually ever in operation. We've already mentioned in our Global Talent Visa blog that there's questions as to whether the Labor Party will support the Global Talent Visa. If Labor wins, they will most likely abolish or shelf the agricultural visa. Unfortunately, as we can see, there are labor shortages in Australia at the moment, and there's hectares of farmland that have been abandoned or that in some cases fruit is rotting on the trees. Farmers are crying out for workers and lodging agricultural visas would be a great way to solve this problem if it was possible. Trying to solve this problem, the government has been actively recruiting backpackers and working holiday makers to help ease these shortages. It is reasonable to say, like in any industry, there is always a small cohort that does the wrong thing and worsens the situation for everyone. This is probably the case in relation to the agricultural visa. We would love to see the agricultural visa operational in the near future. In the meantime, we can consider what other options might be available. There is the working holiday visa, but that's only available for certain countries. Another option is that if someone's already in Australia, they can potentially apply for a COVID pandemic event visa. The pandemic event visa is a very flexible visa, which allows people to work in a critical sector and agriculture is listed as a critical sector. So it might be that the COVID pandemic event visa helps to fill the gaps in the short term. So we are sad to say we can't bring you any positive news about the agricultural visa. Unfortunately, as is the case sometimes in politics, it was easier to promise an agricultural visa than it was to deliver one. We will keep you updated if there's any positive developments in relation to the agricultural visa. And don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell to get notified of any new videos coming up. Thanks for watching.